So after leaving Peter Zila's house, I headed to HTP's headquarters about an hour and a half away to see their operation and bring them a little something from Oklahoma that I made with their equipment. But you'll have to stay tuned to see that. We're here at HTP. Yeah. Nice that you to finally show up, finally. Peter. Gosh. Only took me like uh, 62 minutes. I thought you guys were supposed to be punctual. No, fast. Ah, Not okay. Punctual. If we leave late, we are late, no matter how fast we go. Okay, that works. All right, so we're here in the HTP warehouse. Peter Zila brought me down here to check it out. Jeff from HTP uh, is treating me to some Chicago pizza, which I'm looking forward to. And ooh, there are parts everywhere. I am gonna get myself into some trouble here. <laughs> All right, so the big thing about HTP is that they have parts for just about every sort of setup you could think. They, you know, you can make guns work with other manufacturers' machines, replacements for older machines, you can get parts for your current machine, you can get a longer gun, a shorter gun, you can get a backup or a duplicate gun so you don't cross-contaminate, you can have one just for aluminum, etc. Bunch of different options here. I am not the expert you want to go to on this sort of stuff, but I am trying to learn. And ooh, more stuff, let's see, up here. Uh, water-cooled torches. I like it. And then of course we got all sorts of filler rod. I'm probably gonna have to talk to them as I get better with TIG. Filler rod. Kind of a shipping packing station. And then tips for everything. We got tungstens. We've got replacement parts for just about every kind of welder out there or to customize a gun to what you need it to do. And the shipping's fast too. When I uh, when I ordered just as a regular customer, I got it in like three days. I'm gonna get myself in trouble around here. I like this. Torches, wire. Yeah, you couldn't leave me. You couldn't, you couldn't leave me. Oh. Get in trouble. <laughs> Those are the 2400s, the 200s, the 300s, the uh, stick welder, the 221s. We so finally got inventory on the 200s. Ooh, the 300. This is like testing and repair for uh, and demonstration units for going over with customers. They're on the phone. That's a that's a good thing to have. I was blown away when I was looking at what's being done around here. When I was at Peter's house, he's responding to emails. You know, taking a break from work to go respond to emails from customers that have questions. Good service. Well, just an area where you can test out. Yeah, test the fast. test the ones you've repaired and whatnot. Oh, a whole bunch of different welding helmets available. This is somewhere I could get into a lot of trouble if I had a credit card running free here. <laughs> oh man. Don't tell my wife. Alright guys, I'm here at HTP headquarters with Jeff Nolan, the owner, and they were nice enough to send me out the plasma cutter that I've been using for the last three or four months and I'm loving it, it's the Microcut 875 SC. I've used it to cut a sign. I've brought my Pro Pulse 200 all the way up here to Chicagoland, and we're gonna put that sign together. Let's go. All right, honey, we're going home. Don't look at them, they're gonna fix them. Don't look at them. All right, so we've got the background that we plasma cut out with matching eighth of an inch holes for the letters here that also have the same matching holes. Oh, wow, that's cool. Right? Yeah. All the holes line up. Look perfect. Eighth of an inch rod fits just right. Look at that. And let's hold the table to cut. 0.14, perfect. All right, so we start out with our eighth of an inch rods, set them in the holes in the background of the sign, and just pack them down. Nice. 
So you want to put the magnets underneath yep. it. All right, so with those three rods tacked in, we'll get, we'll get three magnets. And we'll drop our first letter piece on. And then we're just going to weld right through the top. It's all in the programming. If we can program CNC, yeah. then you know how this works. Well, you see, you draw it. You, you know, I, I take your logo. I right. put these holes where I want them. Then I copy your logo up. Do delete off the background and cut it. One time, I don't cut the letters. I just cut the background and the holes. The next time, I don't cut the background. I just cut the letters and the holes. And then they just. And I've done I've done like eight layer thick signs like this, just stack the whole thing up, and they all just it all just drops together. That's cool. Well, listen, you're giving away secrets. I'm not worried about it. If the only reason somebody can beat me is because they know my trick, I'm not doing a very good job. Well. So this is a lot of what you do is sign work? Yeah, it's signs are uh, 50, 60% of my business. Yeah. So pause. Pete, what time is it? Eight o'clock, Wednesday night? Yes, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, Wednesday night. This is Jeff Nolan, the owner of HTP on the phone with a customer troubleshooting an issue. Um, I believe they're like... Good service. Up. I think that bottle's empty. Yeah, that bottle's empty. Damn it. Ran out of gas in the cylinder. Only guy could find a place that sells welding stuff. Did you really run out of gas? Yeah. <laughs> Welding the man running the one. Can you? Fuck yeah. Fuck, that'd be amazing. The, Rather than have to deal with some yard, not when you do a switch. So when you compress a bunch of gas quickly, like you do when you fill a cylinder, the gas heats up. I'm just gonna wire wheel it so it doesn't look like crap. All right, here is our finished product. This is the standard offset letter sign, where these letters are offset forward to of the background on some eighth of an inch rods or studs. And in this case, we left the weld beads there because it's got this industrial vibe to it because there's still paint on the metal and there's still mill scale. I like it. There you go, Jeff. I like it. I think Looks you guys should have it. We're going to park it out front. Perfect. Weld, weld some, uh, some stakes to it and stick it in the ground. Hey, cut with an HTP plasma cutter, welded with an HTP welder. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here at Menards in Chicago to meet a follower of mine who invited me to see his setup. Uh, I don't exactly know how to describe it. Unfortunately, I'm showing up late because I was at HTP for too long. So I think I might miss out on some of the interesting parts of trying to sell in a small business in this sort of environment. But you got to meet people. So here we go. What's going on, man? Thanks. Yellow mug. Yellow mug ink. You got to add everything, right? Yeah, we're all Perfect. Set up. Got a custom prototype lamp here. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. And you left the top with kind of a natural. Turn to what's green. The, what's the. Oh, turn to green turn and let to it green, work. Turn to green, let it okay, work. Okay, that's the way to Keep do it. That's the way it is. Yeah. I've had three people tell me, can I use it like a light fixture? So. It already would work. <laughs> put, put like an Edison bulb in there? Yeah, totally. We'll even turn it down way thinner so you can get some light through it. Yeah, absolutely. Or use buggy wood. Totally. So how is this, uh, what is this, laser cut or something? 
This is CNC or C routed. Okay. Um, Man, that's, that's, a, that's a nice finish for CNC route. Yeah. On, we, on um, hardboard? Basic. Just clean up the backside. This material is super cool too. It's actually a fire resistant particle board. So it is yeah. super hard. Is it? So it's, it's got really, that, really yeah. Strong. It's got that like resonance to it up there. Yeah. So it's awesome for doing prototype work out of. And Focus. There you go. Yeah. We got it. All right, cool. So after meeting Stu, it was another hour on the road to Highland, Indiana to check out George over at Delusional Design's new CNC tables. It's underneath. Yeah. Oh, you're running the V wheels on the outside. Yes, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, these, so this is shielded. I mean, you know, the only places where you're ever close to anything is here, but you know, that's another benefit with the Cat 5, Cat 6. So, uh, but we can actually mill a quarter inch bit, eighth inch per pass on MDF at 800 inches a minute with this machine. I purposely didn't really look at anything you had online right. on these, right? because I wanted to, I wanted to see one right. before I, yeah. so you can only tell so much from pictures. And with that visit to Delusional Designs, I am heading off to Cincinnati. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of this Maker Tour. If you want to find that, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button if the video earned it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.